Hi guys, High Coast Runner here. Welcome to the training for the High Coast Ultra series. Now I know I started this series off by getting injured. Not the best of starts, to be honest. But hey, you just gotta roll with it. You just gotta live with life and just tackle what it throws at you. I'm determined to give the race a good shot. And this, what I'm doing right now, is the best start for it. Uh, it's 8.30 in the morning and I'm at the place from a village called Schapanholmen in the high coast. Today I'm gonna have a very easy long run. Or maybe it's going to be a hike, I don't know. But the plan is to follow the high coast trail from Schapanholmen and all the way home. So that is going to be something like 25 kilometers, something like that, on the high coast trail. So basically, you see that point out there? That's where I'm going. I'm going to follow the coastline and then go out to that point, round that point, and then go back down the fjord on the other side of the hill. Now, since my one of my legs, my calf, doesn't really feel up for the task today, we are going to hike and jog most of the distance. But I'm going to let you come with me on this training block right up to the High Coast Ultra coming up on the 18th of June. So we have more than a month to basically just get in as much distance as possible. It will serve as a good way of showing you guys how I train for a longer race. Now I'm not the most fit guy in the world. I've done the mountain marathon all right but uh, since I broke my collarbone and I had surgery I've lost my fitness a bit so I have a lot to work on. This is the first step. Walking, jogging, hiking, a hot marathon. So yeah come with me on the journey towards the high coast bridge. along the coast out to Hallviken which is out there but some seriously lucky people because who wouldn't want a summer house like this right next to the, to the sea you know this is at the bottom of a fjord the people down here have some kind of sauna and then a smokery hot for some if they catch fish and then they have their own mountain stream as well how awesome isn't that and of course the beach and the fjord and the national reserve Sorry if I'm winded, 
but here is the uh, last descent until we get to the top at Balish Udden and uh, the view is pretty neat from up here so here's the top and uh, yeah pretty nice place huh the view is absolutely amazing now let's have a look at the view on the other side yeah so I don't know if you can see it but down there there's the town that's where I live so I need to cross I need to cross the point out there go over the uh, peninsula and then go in along the fjord about 500 meters of really steep descent oh, it's such a relief to run on flat ground you cannot believe it and then naturally we'll be running for I don't know two to about 300 meters on the beach and then it's all uphill again it's the high coast and you gotta love it okay let's go down to the beach Ooh. i have about 10 kilometers left to go or maybe 12 and there is no real water source on the rest of the way home, so let's stop off. Basically, inside the Bollas of the Nature Reserve, uh, all the water is good to drink. That comes running down off the mountains and streams. If you're Swedish, you shouldn't have any problem at all drinking this water now if you're a foreigner mm, I don't know it depends on how brave you are you know if you've been in Sweden for let's say a week already uh, the drinking water should be fine true it's a dance we know the most but last weekend I had two back-to-back -back long runs so that is probably what have been causing me a fair bit of uh, muscle fatigue as well as tendon fatigue but now it seems like I uh, have properly warmed up all the muscles in my legs so nothing hurts everything is fine we crossed the ridge and here's the next beach <laughs> just like that you go from one beach to another and jump right into the forest and up to the trail again this is like 
a walk in the park and we're at we're at 12k so far so we should be able to more or less jog rest of the way home well, here's the another beach basically what you do on this trail is that you're more or less beach hopping and that's a house you can stay in by the way it's open to the public the how awesome isn't this nature reserve? I absolutely love it and you should definitely come here if you have a chance to do so. This is on the High Coast Trail, it's the stretch between Schottenholmen and San Lohjan. Now we've left the nature reserve and as you can see around me the usual standard supply the forestry companies own the land so they do as they wish and please and the road is pretty sweet to run on at least on the uphill section when we come over the, the crest of the ridge and we start the 5k downhill section it's going to be the road is like crushed rock so very big pebbles and they're sharp and they're a pain in the peep to run on we're at 17k and we're still going downhill <laughs> this downhill section is just ridiculous you know? now we're at 18k and we're still going downhill <laughs> kilometer 19 it's still going downhill ridiculous <laughs> Kilometer 20, still going downhill. From here, you can see the next task that lies ahead of me. If I turn around, you will see what we're about to climb, or more or less. It's another hill like that one, but a bit further off to the right. And that's the way it is in the high coast. Downhill, flat, uphill, flat, downhill, flat, uphill, all the time, <laughs> gotta love it. Okay, so my GoPro died and I don't have any more batteries. So to give you some kind of uh, scale of what I did is that I came down basically that ridge over there on, on the other side, on the far side of the lake. And then we ran for 5k all the way down into the valley. And now we're going up a, a dirt road and we're gonna go up this mountain. It's kind of hard to see from here um, since I'm on the incline. It's always hard to tell how high a mountain is. Hmm, weird. Seems like the GoPro did not die after all. But it's definitely running on the fumes now. But it's the, this is the kind of uphills you can expect along the high coast trail and if you are going to run the ultra race this will be the last you see of a one and a half kilometer downhill stretch and I'm just about to start climbing up the same path get up, get down. Get up, get Get up, get down. 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 Get
another kilometer later so it's still going uphill <laughs> but it's beautiful up here now we have one kilometer to the next lake and that's all downhill and then we have four kilometers more or less to go so yeah still doing fine we're all wise and energy wise i'm just taking it a little easy on some of the more technical stuff since i do not want to get hurt but now i'm pretty close to the town Seven kilometers later and change and roughly five hours and 15 minutes later I'm almost home every time I run far or every time I run for a long period of time I become amazed about how much the body can take you know sure I'm tired but I could easily just turn around and run back at this moment I feel like I could actually pull it off if I had sufficient uh, you know water and energy in the way of food and stuff I think I could pull it off I'm not at all at the kind of point physically wise where I feel fit at all so running five kilometers is hard for me <laughs> running it fast anyway <clears throat> but uh, running slow have no problems with that and I've been taking it quite easy today but the terrain has been gruesome as well you know I think I've climbed almost 700 meters in elevation and uh, 27 kilometers on cruel trails yeah I'm, I'll take it I'm not proud I'll take it <laughs> So with that said guys, I am going to go home, have an ice bath, eat falafel, and then I'm going to take it easy. So, see you guys around.